This is a sea squirt. When you place it in water and watch closely, something strange happens. So, what kind of creature is a sea squirt? Vicious A little while ago, I went to a fish market and spotted a really unusual sea squirt. It looked totally different from the common Halo Cynthia Roretsi. I was so surprised. I bought it right away and rushed back to the lab. Ta-da! This is Halo Cynthia Orontium. Its smooth red surface is why it's nicknamed the Sea Peach in English. And this one is Pyra Viteta, which looks like a rock. They look quite different from typical sea squirts, but both belong to the family Pyuridae in the subphylum Tunicata, also known as Uricordates. Despite their appearances, their lifestyles and internal structures are very similar. If you observe a sea squirt, you'll notice two protrusions on top. These are the incurrent and excurrent siphons, which allow seawater to flow in and out. The incurrent siphon looks like a plus sign, and the excurrent like a minus sign. Sea squirts draw in seawater through these siphons, filtering organic matter to feed. Look closely at Halocynthia orontium, and you'll see both siphons at the top. Now, let's place Halocynthia orontium in water. Watch as it absorbs water through its body and swells up dramatically. Whoa! Amazing! Underwater, both siphons become clearly visible. Now, let's try Pyura Viteta. It may seem like it has no siphons, but once placed in water, they open up just like this. Fascinating, right? Sea squirts have a special organ below the incurrent siphon called the branchial pouch. It filters out food particles and plankton from seawater, then passes the food to the esophagus, stomach, and intestines for digestion. Waste is expelled through the anus near the excurrent siphon. Just like a living water filter, even if sea squirts look different across species, they all feed in the same way. The common sea squirt, Halocynthia roretsi, actually comes in two different forms. The difference depends on whether they're farmed or wild caught. The difference in appearance comes from the environment in which the sea squirts were raised. Farmed sea squirts are grown using a method where ropes with young sea squirts attached are hung vertically into the sea from floating rafts. Because they grow close together along the rope, their bodies become long and narrow, with less developed surface bumps. In contrast, wild sea squirts grow freely in open water, resulting in rounder, plumper bodies with more distinct protrusions. Pretty interesting, right? But recently, rising ocean temperatures due to climate change have caused serious damage to farmed sea squirts. Even more concerning, other types of seafood are also being affected. To address this, many countries are now working on solutions like developing temperature-resistant strains, building smart aquaculture systems, and relocating farms to more suitable areas. All these efforts aim to make seafood production more resilient. Climate change used to feel so distant from our daily lives, but now it's directly threatening the food we eat. It's time we realize just how urgent the situation has become. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel. This was Fishy Science. Exploring the wonders of nature through science.